If you're planning to apply for a USA B1, that's a business visa, to attend an event, conference, or a client meeting in the US, then this video is for you. We're going to discuss some important factors which visa officers focus on, and this will help you prepare your profile according to that. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. In fact, we have an entire playlist for B1 visa, so make sure to check it out. And if you look below in the description box, you will also see that there are free resources which are going to help you in your preparation. This includes a question bank, a document checklist and sample format for invite letters. So once you're done watching this video, make sure to make use of all of those resources. So a B1 visa is a great visa. It allows you to visit US for events, conferences, meetings and many other things. And in my experience of working with clients, I have seen that visa officers primarily focus on three aspects. Number one, have you attended similar events before? Let's say that you want to go to the US to attend a trade event. Now the visa officer is going to look into your profile and check whether you have attended any similar events before. Why do they do this? Because this helps them to establish the credibility of your profile. If the visa officer sees that you have track record in this particular domain and your work experience is relevant to the purpose of your visit, then this builds confidence in your profile and makes it clear to the visa officer that you are the right person for this particular purpose. So make sure that you are highlighting similar events, similar purposes that you would have done before. Now, this could be outside India, but if you haven't had a chance to travel out of the country yet, you could highlight whatever you have done within India as well. Even that counts. The question arises, where exactly do you highlight it? Well, there are two places where you could do it. First one is your DS-160 form. So when you fill your DS-160 form, you will be describing your duties. Now in that particular box, include one point about similar events. So if you're going for a trade event, include a point about attending similar events within India, outside India, wherever you would have done it. The second place where you could highlight is in the interview itself. So in the interview, make sure that you are bringing in this point somewhere. It could be in the purpose of visit or it could be when you talk about your job roles and responsibilities. Let's say that the visa officer asks you, what is the purpose of your visit? So when you tell the officer that you have been invited for a trade event, you could add in a line and tell him that I have attended similar events earlier as well. Or when the visa officer asks you about your job roles and responsibilities, you talk about your main role and add a point that your role also involves traveling. It also involves attending events and conferences. The second aspect that visa officers focus on is your position in the company. Why you? Why not anybody else? In fact, this is a very common B1 visa interview question that why you are going for this and why not your manager or why not anybody else? Now, to answer this, you have to do analysis of your experience and your expertise in the company. So you have to make it clear to the visa officer that you have the right experience and expertise for this particular event. For example, maybe this event is linked to a product and you have been involved in the development of that product right from the beginning. Or this event is about a particular service and you lead that service domain in your company. So essentially, you need to show to the visa officer that the main area or the main theme of the event is very tightly linked to what you have been doing in this company and you have the right experience and the expertise for it. And the third aspect, the importance of the event. I feel that this is the most important and yet the often overlooked aspect of a B1 visa interview. Keep in mind that when you go for the interview, the visa officer is judging how important is this purpose to your business or to your company. If the purpose looks passive, something which is not very important or something which does not impact the business directly, then it's going to lose the importance. However, if the purpose is something which is direct, which has a direct impact on the business, let's say that it's going to help you in gaining new customers, increasing the revenue or entering new markets, then the importance of that purpose automatically goes up. So when you're framing your purpose and when you're deciding why you want to enter the US, do keep in mind that the purpose is something which has to be direct, it should have an immediate impact on the business, and it is something which the company needs to grow further. So if you're still here, still watching the video, do give it a thumbs up and comment below and let me know. So comment B1 below so that I know that you have got the three factors. And if you have any doubts as to how to use it in the interview or in the DS-160 form, do comment below and let me know. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at chachi.mal. And just like Nisar, if you want to prepare with me, do check all the links in the description box below. We can help you with your DS-160 form, your interview preparation and the mocks. So feel free to reach out and we have more useful content coming up in the B1 Visa series. We are also uploading a lot of short videos and reels on Instagram. So do keep an eye on them as well. Signing off for now. I'll see you very soon. 